Today, we're making some soup for you guys. Main components, you got onions, garlic, carrots, potatoes and mushrooms today to beef it up a little bit. There's also gonna be chicken in there and I've been using these broths. It has collagen, which is good for your joints and stuff. And you'll see me using turmeric later. That's the trick of a soup is you have different things that cook at different speeds. So I'll probably go with the onions, potatoes and carrots first and the garlic and then go mushrooms at the end. That's actually pretty good. That's a good temperature, I got that. You can always tell by the sound. I know this from watching food cooking shows. You can tell by the sound that that's the right temperature. And I'm gonna add the garlic right now and the seasonings. Here's my salt and pepper. These are shiitake mushrooms. Yeah, so there's everything in the pot. I'm gonna add some turmeric next. So I usually cook this without the broth for about 10 or 15 minutes till those onions and potatoes start to get a little translucent and soften a little bit. We're gonna do something I've never done before today and that's find out which food is the most fun to hit with a baseball bat. The first one we're gonna do is the bagel. Oh, that was good, that was good. It's surprising for the first swing of the day. I mean, I'm going to hit cars if with an apple, but... <laughs> oh! <laughs> we got the orange. I crushed that one. <laughs> it's banana time. All right, here we go. Got it right in half. Tomato time. And I'm nervous about this one. I'm gonna get sprayed. <laughs> oh, that wasn't bad. That was in between the, <laughs> the bagel and the apple, I would say. Oh my God, that chicken. Oh, that was the best one. Oh, I can smell it. That was awesome. So it's been about five or 10 minutes. You can tell when it's ready just by the smell. It's starting to smell good. So I'm gonna add my bone broths. These are both chicken bone broths. One is mushroom chicken and the other one is turmeric ginger. I just kind of eyeball it, doesn't matter. <laughs> the soup's been simmering for about 20 minutes, so now I got my frozen rotisserie chicken here and you just add that and, and wait till it defrosts, which takes one minute. There's the finished product, anti-inflammatory soup. <laughs>